Hi, everybody, and welcome to Focus Outdoors. We're glad you're with us. Rough grouse, woodcock, hunting in northern Minnesota. A good time, a lot of fun, quite a challenge. While you watch the highlights of our hunt, we're going to visit with Mark Fouts, Director of Regional Operations for the Rough Grouse Society. Stay with us, Rough Grouse Hunting, Woodcock Hunting, coming up when Focus Outdoors returns. Focus Outdoors is brought to you by Quail and Pheasant Restoration Technologies, the next generation in game bird restoration. Remington Sporting Dog, quality products for family, pet, and sporting dog owners. South Dakota Tourism, visit huntinsd.com to plan your hunting vacation to South Dakota. Rio Ammunition, sporting ammunition since 1896. Country Vet Pet Foods, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Pattern Master, shotgun chokes for any game and real wings, the deadliest decoys on the planet. <laughs> Mark, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Steve. Let's start by talking about the history of the Rough Grouse Society, when you got started, and what its objectives were. Well, when we got started back in 1961, it was a group of men that wanted to see the increase of the rough grouse population and the American woodcock on the eastern uh, flyway. Uh, this was based out of Virginia and now our headquarters in Coropolis, uh, Pennsylvania. But the majority of the birds, rough grouse and woodcock, are in the Great Lakes states, meaning Michigan, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Uh, but when we started, we were trying to figure out how we can impact early forest, how we can have a balance between old growth and new growth. And that's why we came on board and one, we wanted to uh, preserve the birds, when I say preserve them, you know, for sportsmen, but they're the only two birds right now for upland game that you can't raise in captivity. So they rely totally on man and habitat. And so we thought it was a key for us to be involved in that. Ron, I wonder if we should get you on this edge. Whoa. Whoa. That bird, he knows that bird's running in front of him right now. Good shot. Super job. Look at the size of this one, Doc. It's huge. Oh my God. It's huge. Look at that. Isn't that magnificent? Great shot. <laughs> that is a nor that's twice the size uh -huh. of the birds that we had found in here the other day. And we didn't shoot those birds, but you could we're close enough where and in a way this is great, in a way it's not so good because our local birds moved out. But look at that. Magnificent. Good job. <laughs> great deal. Great, great. Super. Well, Thank you. and you've been moving some grouse in here. We right? have, we're up to nine birds. We moved two grouse back there um, and woodcock all the way through there. Yeah, they were woodcock. Uh, I'm every, sure there were yeah. a bunch in there. But they're, they're toddling through here, so he gets on a trail, and I, I think we're passing other birds because he's zeroing in on one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why I mentioned to you guys before we came down here how a wire hair will track until, I mean, that bird right there, he had tracked that bird probably that 60 yards already. Incredible. I don't hear him. Let's go up to the trail and see if we can round him up. Yeah. If someone has not hunted rough grouse or woodcock, how would you suggest they get started? Uh... 
the first thing they should do is probably read a book a little bit to get involved and to figure out what they're going to have to do to start up. Then I would suggest finding somebody, a friend or a mentor, to really take you under the wings. And that's what happened to me. I didn't start hunting grouse and woodcock till 1988 when I moved up from Omaha, Nebraska. And I found a man that had been hunting woodcock and grouse since 1948. And so he took me under his wings and kind of showed me the ropes. And that was the best program that I, ever happened to me. And since that has happened to me, I have done that since then. I have started many people over the years getting involved in grouse and woodcock hunting, starting them with the equipment, uh, the dogs, and kind of mentored them. And, uh, and they have, again, they have taken that under their wings and they have done the same thing. And, and I think that's so important anymore as far as the mentoring, whether it be a youth or somebody old like myself. You know, when I started in 88, I had no idea what I was getting into. And, as they say, the rest is history. Well, This segment sponsored in part by Country Vet Pet Foods, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Is the number of upland game birds on your hunting property down from years past? The surrogator from quail and pheasant restoration technologies can change that. Our patented surrogator process works by placing day-old chicks in the unit, which provides the heat, food, water, and protection needed for the first month of a game bird's life. The birds are raised in isolation on your property. In just four or five weeks, the birds are released and your hunting potential is maximized. Call or visit us online, Quail and Pheasant Restoration Technologies. The bond between man and dog is one of the most trusted relationships. For your loyal hunting companion, choose the brand that's trusted, Remington. All Remington sporting dog products are unconditionally guaranteed. So whether you're buying one of our dog collars, leads, training dummies, or any product from our complete line of training and hunting accessories, you'll be buying the best. To find a dealer near you, visit www.remingtonsportingdog.com. Experience South Dakota. Experience world-class hunting in the heart of South Dakota's pheasant country. Visit huntinsd.com for lodging and hunting vacation packages. This segment sponsored in part by Rio Ammunition, sporting ammunition since 1896. And actually, RGS helped him manicure this area because he wasn't sure what to do with it. They came in, they logged it. Well, you can see about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. nine, 10 years ago, um, they logged it. The biologist came in and said, we should have hazel here. Let's have a stand of popple here. Mm -hmm. Let's put some rose hips in. Let's put some strawberry in. Try to have a diversified area. There's a lot of dogwood in here, but this is a really poor year for dogwood in Minnesota. I, I actually don't know why. I think the cold, wet spring, especially in this area, uh, is really damaged. The dogwood and actually the grouse numbers in this specific area are behind most most areas to the south and maybe even to the north. You know, we're already up to. Uh, 14 flushes. <laughs> so to get our percentage up there. Well, that to me, people ask Tom, how can you never carry a gun? It's not about the gun. It's about the dogs. It's about being out on Absolutely. a nice day with and good flushes. people and flushes. I, like I just love to see it. <laughs> I mean, I really do. 
Like they're doing things today I haven't seen Woodcock do uh -huh. in a long, no, long run, time. Run through that stuff? Yeah. The strawberries. You, well, you wouldn't even think that they're strong enough to run through No, that. no, no. But like even Billy said, you can tell in the viewfinder that when they get up, they're big woodcock. And when, when he brought that one back to me, I thought you had shot a grouse one because I could see part of it hanging out of his mouth. And I loved it. And you thought this one was a grouse. That one was big enough, I thought yep, it was a that, and that was a shadow. Huh? Yep. And then when he did get the grouse, the grouse went low around Instead the alders and never did give us a shot. So, um, since we're back here now, let's continue on. It's, it's, it's a little more broken up and then we can get some birds. Get some birds where we can do something with them. I understand that people who are dedicated rough grouse and woodcock hunters like to refer to a successful hunt as how many birds they've moved. Okay. Or how many flushes they've had. Your response. Um, I think there's some truth to that. Um, now when they say birds moved, well, let's talk flushing dogs. Uh, flushing dogs will basically nose sure the dogs up and get them up in the air. So keep a mark on it. they say how many Rough grouse I moved today, 16 birds, 8 birds, 25 birds I moved today. Now that doesn't mean that you had shots at those birds. The same thing when it goes to woodcock. How many woodcock did you move today? Now when it comes to pointing dogs, the, the people that I hunt with refer to them as pointed birds, not birds that they, the dogs bumped. You know, you might have moved 25 birds today, grouse, but how many of those 25 birds were pointed? You might only have 12 pointed, but 25 were in the air. Now again, that doesn't indicate how many shots you got at that. In a theory that I was taught a long time ago when it comes to grouse and woodcock, and especially grouse, if you saw the bird, that was your shot. Sometimes people count that I heard a bird. Um, I don't count that as a bird up. You know, if I heard it, it's, it doesn't go in my bird uh, count that day. I have to see it or dog has to point it or bump it. That's what I call a bird up. Oh, that's the target. That's the other one. Oh, that was a small one. Not much smaller. It'd be a small one. <laughs> rough grouse hunting can be a lot of work. Uh, to me personally, I think rough grouse hunting and woodcock hunting are the hardest upland game bird hunting besides, I've never done it, but they say chucker out in Idaho in that area is the toughest. But I think overall rough grouse and woodcock are the toughest as far as on your body, uh, wear and tear on yourself, your dogs. Success ratio is probably very limited when it comes to starting out. Success rate is very low. And, but you have to be able to put the time in and understand that there's a lot of days, there's no birds in the bag. What oh, cock? Whoa, whoa! Mark here. Too bad. Now, you guys, there is a grouse in here. Has it just flipped up? Would you like to reload, please? Got it. Here, here. That's where that grouse was. This segment was brought to you in part by Real Wings, the deadliest decoys on the planet.
This segment sponsored in part by Rio Ammunition, sporting ammunition since 1896. Shot, which that's was a, an easier shot. Yeah, this is, that's a little female. Mm -hmm. Because of the because of the one spot. The little, mm -hmm. If it had two spots, it'd be mm -hmm. a little male. But it's got one mm -hmm. little female bird of the year. Young, yeah. Very nicely done. Good. Super, super duper. Make you carry your own bird Absolutely. for a while. Absolutely. get rid of some water. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Good job. Aldo Leopold, who's generally recognized as the father of conservation, in his book, The Sand County Almanac, stated that there are two types of hunting, <laughs> regular hunting and rough grouse hunting. Your thoughts? Well, if you go by him, yeah, yeah. he's 100% correct. Uh, the rough grouse is called the king of the upland game birds, whereas a bobwhite quail is called the queen. Um, where the other game birds fall in, I don't know what you want to call them, but I think the rough grouse is king. And the reason why I say it is king is the most sporting and the most challenging. And again, it comes back to you can't pin raise them. When you hunt rough grouse, they're 100% wild. There's no place where you go to a game farm where you can buy the birds, or you go out to the Dakotas and you hunt wild birds seated with planted birds. They are the king because they're elusive. Uh, there's a lot of times in the spring you can see them or in the summer you can see them, uh, but when the time you put on an orange hunting vest, orange hat, and you go out in the woods with your dog, somehow they're not there. Or they hide behind a tree, or your dog is pointing them or flushing them, and behind a tree the bird takes off. So they're very elusive. So that's why he called it the king. Oh! Yeah, foot cock. Shot right into that tree. That's the second time. Second time a grouse and a woodcock have been together today. Let me try to get. It. Is he on point again, Nance? Go after, run after the shot. Way out there. He might be down again, you guys. contact the Rough Grouse Society? Well, we have a website that you can go to, www.roughgrousesociety.org or .net, however you want to look at it, and then you can contact us on a web page to become a member. Uh, we also have spots on the website that talk about starting chapters in certain states and certain towns if you want to be part of that. Uh, we also have fundraisers that talks about on the 
website where they're at, what states, what time of year they are, and uh, it's easy to become involved. Yep. Yep. Woodcock, nice shot. Dead bird, nasty market for me, please. Dead bird, dead bird. Way to be on the ball with an experienced dog, huh? I thought it was right in front of him, but it was. Yeah. Was going like this, with his nose to the ground. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Very nice. Good. That's a, I think that's a that's local a bird. Yep, yeah, that's a smaller bird. We finally found one of our locals that good. didn't migrate. Awesome. Good, good. Super duper. That's great. Great, great. Come on, get to the dot. Yep. Flushed it. Pointed it, flushed it. Found yep. It. Perfect. Victory, <laughs> yeah. victory roll. Typical <laughs> Oh, yeah, aren't I good? Yeah. I'd like to thank Ron and Nancy Remington for grouse hunting with us in the great state of Minnesota, the land of 10,000 lakes. They've come all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada, and we had a great day, uh, moved some woodcock. Um, I think the management programs that uh, we've talked to the biologist in the state are working very well, and we also moved some rough grouse on a down year. Ron, thank you very much for being with us. Enjoy the thank company you. immensely. Yeah. Great shooting today, Nancy. Thank you, thank you very you. much. Thank you. This segment is brought to you in part by Pattern Master, shotgun chokes for any game. Do you want your decoy spread to be more effective and attract more waterfall? Introducing Bird Vision UV Reflective Decoy Paint. See what the birds see. Bird Vision Paint will make your decoy spread come alive, be more realistic, and more effective. That's Bird Vision Paint, available at realwings.com, or call 701-365-8222 for more information. After a long, successful wing shooting hunt, is there an easier way to clean your birds? Yes, there is. Introducing the Bird Hitch Cleaner, stainless steel construction that makes your bird cleaning safe and easy more portable with less waste and easy cleanup the bird hitch cleaner is available on focus outdoors tv's online store at www.focusoutdoorstv.com hunt smarter not harder is the number of upland game birds on your hunting property down from years past the surrogator from quail and pheasant restoration technologies can change that our patented surrogator process works by placing day-old chicks in the unit which provides the heat, food, water, and protection needed for the first month of a game bird's life. The birds are raised in isolation on your property. In just four or five weeks, the birds are released, and your hunting potential is maximized. Call or visit us online, Quail and Pheasant Restoration Technologies. The bond between man and dog is one of the most trusted relationships. For your loyal hunting companion, choose the brand that's trusted, Remington. All Remington Sporting Dog products are unconditionally guaranteed. So whether you're buying one of our dog collars, leads, training dummies, or any product from our complete line of training and hunting accessories, you'll be buying the best. To find a dealer near you, visit www.remingtonsportingdog.com. For more information on the products seen on today's show, please visit us at www.focusoutdoorstv.com. That's our show for this week. Rough grouse, woodcock hunting, 
in northern Minnesota. I think you can see it can be a lot of fun, exciting, and a lot of work. We're glad you were with us. Our thanks to Mark Fouts, Regional Director of Operations here in Minnesota, for his input on today's show. Remember, do these three things for me. One, take a child with you to the next hunting or fishing trip. Two, generously support your favorite conservation organization. And three, spend some time in the next week where you focus on the outdoors. For the staff of Focus Outdoors, I'm Steve Hammer. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time when we continue the journey making more memories. Focus Outdoors was brought to you by Quail and Pheasant Restoration Technologies, the next generation in game bird restoration. Remington Sporting Dog, quality products for family, pet, and sporting dog owners. South Dakota Tourism, visit huntinsd.com to plan your hunting vacation to South Dakota. Rio Ammunition, sporting ammunition since 1896. Country Vet Pet Foods, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Pattern Master, shotgun chokes for any game. And Real Wings, the deadliest decoys on the planet.